Hi there, I'm John from MySolarHome.us. This video is about the six secrets to making sure your solar panels make you money for the next 25 to 30 years. So there are six secrets to making your solar panels make you money. The first is to do with you. Are you a good prospect for solar? So we're going to talk about that. Number two and three are to do with your home. Is your home good for solar? Does it get enough sunlight? And it is not a trivial question. A lot of people think their homes get a lot of sunlight but I'll show you exactly how to find out if it does. Number three is, okay, your home gets a lot of sunlight. Do you have enough roof? Is your roof good enough? That's number three. So once you've got yourself and your home qualified as a good candidate for solar, we get into what equipment should you buy? I'll give you easy, no-brainer choices so that you can never go wrong when you're choosing your solar panels. That's number four. Choosing your inverters, that's number five, very important. And I'm gonna show you, give you the choices, just to make sure that you always, always make the right choice and you don't end up with a solar system which is underperforming. And finally, how much should you pay for the solar system? Whether you're buying the panels, whether you're leasing, how much should you actually pay? So stick around. I'm gonna take you through each of these six steps it's not a long video. I promise you, if you follow these steps, you will have a solar system which will make you money for the next 25 to 30 years. So let's start with number one. Are you a good prospect for solar? So if you're the owner of a single family home, solar on multifamily homes, unless you own the whole multifamily, or if you're living in a town home, is a little iffy and difficult right now. It does happen now and then, but 95% of the cases, you won't qualify for solar. So that's number one, that you need to make sure that you're a single family homeowner. Two, you have an electric bill, which is 100 bucks or more. A lot of ads are doing the rounds on the, on the internet, saying that if you have more than 70 bucks, but I think 100 bucks is a much better threshold for you to go for good, solid savings. So if you have a bill of 100 bucks or more, you'll get good solid savings from your solar panel. Number two and three are about your home. Does your home actually qualify for solar? Your single family home. Number two, does it get enough sunlight? A lot of people I've seen, they think their homes get a lot of sunlight, but it is not a trivial question to answer. The first thing to do is look at your home on Google Maps. Go to the URL as shown here, type in your address and look at your home. If your home looks like this, no trees anywhere around it, the roof is clear, you're a good candidate for solar. But if your home looks like this or this, your home is really not a good candidate for solar, even if you think it gets a lot of sun. So let's say you've looked at it on Google Maps and you're not 100% sure that you have some trees, but you think your home gets a lot of sun. Then the next thing to do is get it verified on Google Sunroof. Go to this URL, put in your address, and it'll show you an image of your home and its roof and how much solar radiation it gets. If you have roofs which are south facing or east or west facing, if you have roofs which have got bright yellow, you have enough roofs, your home is good for solar. Number three, do you have enough roof, 500 square feet or more? And is your roof 15 years or less of age? If it is more than 15 years, you gotta be careful. If it's over 20 years, I would definitely advise you to get a new roof before doing solar. And it's possible for the solar companies to put the roof into the solar project and get you a tax credit on the roof plus the solar as part of the same project. So those are the first three things we look at. Some of you are thinking of ground mounted panels. It's not a bad choice, but remember ground mounted panels are 20 to 25% more expensive than a regular roof mounted solar panel. So that makes the math of you're getting your investment back and making money a little longer term, but it is possible. Number four, what should you finally buy? Choose your equipment wisely. First thing is choose great solar panels. Any solar panel with efficiencies more than 20% is good, but to make it easy for you, I have a choice of six panels. I have a video on the best solar panels 2022 on my channel. My top choice is the REC 400 watt black on black solar panel. My number two choice would be the Silfab 380 watt black and black panel. Number three would be the Q Cell 380 watt black and black panel. And if you want to spend a little bit more, two panels which are slightly better than these three are the LG 440 watt panel and the Panasonic uh, 385 watt. So choose your panel wisely. Half the battle is won. But the next step, which is 
Secret number five is choosing the right inverter. And if you compromise on this, you will end up in a world of hurt. Make sure you're either using N-phase microinverters or solar edge optimizers. Do not choose anything else. Doesn't matter what anybody else tells you. And there is one big company, Tesla, which sells you solar systems without these two. I don't touch them. I don't advise you to touch them with a barge pole. So that's number five is choosing your inverter wisely. Always go with N phase or go with solar edge. And finally, number six, how much will you pay for solar? Now, if you're going to purchase your solar system cash, then we're talking about look for a price per watt of dollar three, around about dollar three, maybe a little more, not a problem. Now, if you don't know what a price per watt is, you got to watch a video on my channel about pricing where you can calculate how many panels you need and how much you'll end up paying. So make sure your price per watt if you're buying cash is around about three bucks. If you're buying a finance system, your price per watt might go up to 330 or 340 because there are financing costs involved. If you're looking at doing a solar lease or a PPA, you've got to be careful. Do not rely on the solar company and their uh, presentation of savings to you. You got to calculate your savings yourself. If you do the calculation and you find that your solar lease will give you 30% or more of savings, you're good to go. So if your solar lease gives you 30% savings on your current electric bill or more, and it is a fixed lease where the price doesn't go up every year, that's a good deal to go for. And if you're unsure, then avoid the solar lease because they are difficult to evaluate. They're the place which most people end up being unhappy because they made the wrong calculations or the solar executive showed them too rosy a picture. But if you buy your system and you're buying the equipment I've told you with the microinverters and your home is good for solar, you get good sunlight, Google Sunroof shows you get good sunlight, you will have savings for 25 to 30 years guaranteed. There is no way you will not make savings. Of course, make sure you're not paying five or six bucks a watt. I mean, you, you got to be paying a good price. I have videos on my channel on where to buy and how to get the best prices on your uh, for your solar panels too. I hope you like this video. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.